a production of theturtleroom.com. Education, conservation, survival. This video will highlight a special group of small turtles and the reward that so many of us look for when working with turtles in general, their eggs. This is the uh, egg laying area for that bottom tub. Uh, this house is uh, three stripe mud turtles, Canosternon barai. Um, it's got a live plant which gives them a little bit of security while they're up there and has a mixture of peat moss, organic topsoil, and sand. Uh, we've gotten four eggs in the last month and a half out of our group, which uh, is pretty good. It's exciting with this new egg laying area. They, they really like it. Um, they didn't like their choice their options before so they were laying in the water a lot so um, we're excited to finally get some eggs um, buried which usually means they're fertile and they look good so far. Three striped mud turtles do not lay many eggs in a clutch but they do lay up to six clutches a year. They will hatch in between 90 and 120 days depending on the temperature. Our eggs are being incubated at 86 degrees Fahrenheit to produce females. Here we have my homemade mini fridge incubator, which I have yet to try. Um, I look forward to using it, but uh, just haven't needed the uh, extra space yet. The uh, Zoomed Reptivator that I just showed you has uh, been plenty uh, useful up until this point. We really don't get a lot of eggs here yet. Most of our projects are growing up. This incubator is controlled by a uh, Zilla thermostat, which does a pretty good job of keeping the incubator at a uh, pretty steady temperature. On the side of the incubator, I have notes with all the species we keep, when their last measurements were, uh, when recent eggs were laid, and also a to-do list, which, as you see, my wife has reminded me to buy her some jewelry, which probably isn't happening. Got to save that turtle money for something important. The heat is provided by heat tape, which is commonly used by snake keepers for their rack systems. Um, you can see right here with the suction cup is the end of that thermostat, which um, will turn off the heat tape as soon as it reaches um, its desired temperature and it will really maintain, like I said, a pretty steady temp, which is so important with uh, incubating eggs. We've got three shelves here just waiting for some eggs, so hopefully some of these projects grow up sooner than later. Up top we have our towels, which are always needed around the turtle room, and as well as our composition books. We have one for each species we keep uh, with detailed notes. This one happens to be for the blending turtles. Please visit theturtleroom.com for more information on this and other exciting colonial species.